Hello, we are live. How y'all doing? Hello, hello, hello. Everybody. Oh, my dogs. Guys, forgive my dogs. <laughs> forgive my dogs. Hi, Mighty. Hi, Pat. <laughs> my dogs are barking because my husband's not here and I have to watch them. So the door is open. <laughs> okay, good. So we have quite a few. We still have some of the same fragrances from the last... Um, sale and i also added a few more and i wanted to make sure some of them i just purchased so that's kind of a catch and release <laughs> like i literally just purchased them and then what ended up happening let me put myself on mute on um on youtube real quick there we go i'm on mute so what ended up happening is I sprayed them, I liked them, and then I was like, eh, I just kind of like them, I don't know if I love them. So that's kind of where I'm at the, the point I'm at right now. And you know, we talked about in the past and through all my reels and whatnot, having fragrances that we appreciate and love in our collection as opposed to things that, you know, it's just nice to have or it's just nice to own, you know, because it's a limited edition, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got uh, six people in the room. I only see three in the chat. So welcome to those of you. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, and on Facebook, I cannot, I don't know what's going on with Facebook. It used to be able, I can see, I can link it up, but I cannot see. So today I'm wearing a, a little dashiki thingy thing and the little headscarf. You know, those African, when you buy like African clothes and stuff like that, you know, my little moo moo. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing. Hi, Lestat. Hi, Kat. How are you today? Hello, Stephanie. Hey, guys. So we're going to do this the same way we've always done it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what the fragrance is. I'm probably going to go over some of the notes really quickly um, by pulling it up on Fragrantica if I can find it. And then what I'll do is I'll take the price and based on how much is left in there. And of course, lowball the stores <laughs> so I can get it out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mighty. Hi, Teresa. And I'm hoping. Hi, Dion. Hey, long time no see, Dion. How you doing? Again, for those of you who are just coming in, my doggies are making a lot of noise because they are here in cars. You know, everybody's coming from work and whatnot. And I don't want to close the door because then they'll come to the door and scratch up the door and fuss and whatnot. Actually, let me go close the door and see if they'll do that. And then I'll come right back. Hold on. I ain't going nowhere. Just hold on. that helped see there's my dress see it's got like the lady on here and then um another lady carrying her basket on her head i love these things they're so comfortable thanks to my mom my mom can't buy nothing because if i see it i take it <laughs> oh my gosh hi, hi Obi. no i'm well i'm not sure if i'm gonna get off yet stephanie i am contemplating it and i was talking with jessica uh, tonight. And it's kind of rough for those of us that are really small who've started, all of us kind of started at the same time, 2020. And what's happening is for some reason, our videos, at least I know mine, I can't speak for other people. My videos used to get thousands of views and now they only get like maybe a hundred. So that's why at the end of every video, I ask people to share so that folks will, hopefully the algorithm will pick me up, but it's a lot of work to film you know, you're taking time, energy, and effort, and it is joyful. I do find a lot of joy in doing it, but the analytics or what they call the vanity metrics does make a difference when you're looking for brand deals, when you're looking for folks to sponsor you and things of that nature, you have to have a certain amount. I mean, I'm being fully transparent here. You have to have a full, when you present a media kit, you have to have a certain amount of um, subscribers. You have to have a certain amount of, um, your analytics has to say, you know, you have a lot of engagement and whatnot because it matters you know, now I would prefer have a small amount of subscribers and people engaging with me than a vast amount of subscribers and nobody's engaging with me because then brands aren't going to, they're not going to like that either. So, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. It is very comfortable. It's very, it's like, a, how you call that? It's the material from the, from the, the nineties rayon. Y'all remember when we used to wear a lot of rayon? It was um, Z Cavaricci 
and Mr. Mister, all of that. Well, I don't know. Y'all might be too young, but I used to work in the mall. I used to work at DJ's in Miami's 163rd Street Mall. And, <laughs> and I used to wear like Z Cavaricis, the clothes. I mean, it was a men's store and it was a partner store with um, Merry Go Round. So yeah, I used to wear all of this. So I love this type of material. I mean, I don't know how you know, if it's, or I don't think it's organic, but, um, you know, it's just so comfortable, easy to wash. You hang it up. It dries very quickly. You could throw it over a bikini, a swimsuit. When you go on vacation, you don't have to worry. You take the head, you can make a headband. Most of them come with a, um, a strap. So you could put it around your waist and stuff. I love dressing very, I don't want to say hippie because that's not the word. I like to dress like I would dress if I were home. We, we're the islands, we're the Caribbean folks. We are into fashion, but we like to put our own spin on it. Hello, Sawas Dikon. Thank you for joining. So let's see here. We've got 12 people in the room. I've got a little bit of everything. I got um, one or two Tom Fords. I've got some niche, the Harmonist. I just picked that up and that's going to go. Um, and then I've got a whole bunch of uh, Tom, Tom. James Healy. And the reason I have James Healy is because I'm just releasing that for my collection. When I post those videos, nobody's interested in them. People mention that they like James Healy. Some people may mention I've done some um, feedback uh, requests on Facebook. People would, you know, they're familiar with the brand, but a lot of people aren't really interested in the brand. And I'm not really wanting to hold on to fragrances that I'm A, not wearing. Two, nobody's really interested in hearing the reviews about them when I do wear them. And three, they're just taking up space. So Hey, Fredna. Thanks for joining. So let's see. We'll just go through some of these I, I did have already. Now, James Healy has two collections. Let me pull it up. James Healy has two collections. He has the Eau de Parfum, and then he has the um the Extra de Parfum. This is a British fragrance, uh, a perfumer, right? And he is very, I would say... I find him sort of recluse. You very rarely see him doing interviews and whatnot. He's not like out there. He's not flamboyant. He's nothing like that. And his brand speaks to that. It's very serene. It's very clean light, clean lines and those type of things. As a matter of fact, one of the fragrances I'm offering up today is uh, called Phoenicia. And that is a fragrance that he created for his wife. And um, the, the fragrance has things like when you go to get massages or you go to, let's just say you go to a temple, right? You It has... Um, a lot of people like things like um, like musk and they like the smells of incense and a little bit of leather. This is a really good fragrance. But for me, I can do I have to do incense in very, very, very small amounts. So, hey, Sylvia. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Agarwood. I'm going to pull that up really quickly since I have it in my hand and share with you guys what the notes are. So these go for about 300 for the bottles, something to that effect. I think it was like 300, 325, something like that. As you can see, I barely used this one. I mean, when I said barely used, I meant barely used. I have never worn this out. It's too strong for me. So this has rose, oud, amber, floral. Those are the accords. And this has a great rating. It's four out of five. And it starts off with rose, then you've got the oud, you've got amber and incense, and very clean, very plain, forward, straightforward, kind of like Kriegler, not a whole bunch of, um, not 25 notes inside of the fragrance. He's very um, streamlined, as you can tell by the design. Okay, so that's Agarwood. And let me see, where's my phone? Should have this pulled up already. So I find that, um, like I said, I find his fragrances are, in my opinion, very serene. Um, so I have Agarwood listed for $220. I will drop it by 10 bucks, $210 if you're interested in it. And then the other one that I have is, is called Iris. I have about five or six bottles remaining. This is Iris de Nuit, so Iris of the Night. And this one, oops, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Did anybody ask me something? Yes, Fredna, they are pretty awesome. Hey, Alicia. 
I absolutely love my tribe, okay? Like I was saying earlier, uh, Fred, now we all st we all started together. We all started YouTube together. Probably, you know, some of us started a little later in 2020, but the majority of us kind of, we stayed together for the most part. But I have to expand in terms of um, getting, you know, I have the group that shows up and and talks to me you know in the because i like talking as you can tell <laughs> right but what happens is i have to reach an audience that are new subscribers and things of that nature so i'm trying to expand because as when i get retired i'm gonna be doing this you know i'm hoping to do this full time be a full-time mommy and a full-time uh content creator and a full-time retiree <laughs> So uh, as you can tell, I'm already putting a little bit of, you know, a, I, I got to exercise a little bit more. But um, so that's the first one is Agarwood. If you're interested in it, I will drop the price. It goes for $295 on his site. This is almost a brand new bottle, as you can see. And I will drop the price by, I have it listed for $220. I'll drop it another $10 off of that, $210. All right. So the next one up is Iris de Numit. And this is a beautiful lavender color um, right here. And this is also, this is from the Eau de Parfum. This one is an iris fragrance, point blank period. It's iris and it's sweet, but not overly so. And it's a little powdery for me. I like the fragrance, but like I said, I'm only going to wear, I have other fragrances I'm trying to get through. So let's pull up the nose for you. If I'm moving too fast, let me know. I, I, I want to keep this tight tonight so that you guys have enough time for dinner and whatnot. So Iris de Nuit has a rating of 4.09. It has Angelica uh, herbs and Ambrette musk mallow at the top. If you've ever, if you've ever smelled musk mallow, um, another brand that I would recommend, um, I talked about it just recently, and that is Mint Fragrances. They have a fragrance called musk mallow. Musk mallow is very soothing. It's, it's like seeds. You know, not so much, um, how should I say? It's like seed, it's a little musky, it's a little like powdery, and it has a slight animalic vibe to it. It it lends a slight animalic vibe to it, which gives it not the funky, stinky smell, but a nice warmth to it. And that's what I like about it. It's very similar to olibanum, if you see that note. So it has that in the top, and then it's got iris, carrot seeds, and violet in the middle, and then you've got Virginia, cedar, and amber in the base. And this one, I have it listed for, Iris de Nuit is uh, listed for 105 If you are interested, I'll knock five bucks off. Just a plain 100 bucks for it. Let me know if you are interested. Oh, thank you, Fredna. She says, hold on, let me show you your stuff. Hi, Candy. She said, I'm late to the party, but I'm here for good. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Iris de Nuit and Agarwood. And what I'll do is I'll move. You'll see me go in like this. I'm just putting the fragrances down on the ground so I don't mess it up. Okay. The next James Healy, this is Rose Aria. This one is a beautiful rose fragrance. It is really, I want to say... If you can think, I don't know if you guys ever visited like Rose Gardens, Rose Parades, that kind of stuff. Hey, Shayna, long time no see. Oh my gosh. I'm loving seeing you guys. I miss going live. I do because I'm seeing all of y'all. I'm, I normally do like um, Instagram, but the thing moves so fast. The, the comments move really fast on Instagram. And when I try to scroll down, sometimes I X myself out, which I do not like. Yes, Shanna. Hi, JC. Yep, it's been a while. It's been a while. So let's see. This is Rose Aria. Rose Aria is not a photorealistic rose. If you think about the other rose fragrances that you make. Now, all of James Healy's fragrance, this is niche. That's all he does is fragrance. No clothing, no none of that type of stuff, okay? So Rose Aria, this is one of my favorites in his collection, but I am resigned. I love sweet fragrances. And if it's not really sweet, I try to, to 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 veer away from two sweet fragrances, but I think my body just likes it. I like smelling myself. I enjoy, and that's about it. You know, it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable. Rose Aria is more of a green rose. So if you walk through, if you've ever walked through, when we went to Paris, you might be able, we went to visit um, 
where uh what's her name let them eat cake i forgot the dog on name of the, the place but we went to paris and we walked there's a huge garden outside it looked like a well it was a castle and there's a huge garden outside and my son's wheelchair christian's wheelchair it was kind of hard to like you know because it's gravel outside small gravel but we kind of was the wind was blowing and stuff like that so you can smell the florals and stuff like that and that's what i get with rosaria not particularly rose like you buy a bunch of roses and you sniff it that's the kind of rose i get with it um whether it's heb rose or some special rose or you know roses are roses are rose that's what i get with this but more of a green realistic vibe that's what i get it's slightly spicy slightly aromatic slightly musky but mostly green that's what i get and it has a little bit of saffron in it as well so that one rose aria we will let rose aria go again for 200 bucks well it had listed here for 205 i'll drop that by ten dollars so 195 and this is almost it's not even you see like maybe about 10 10 15 mils is gone from that this is a hundred or less than that actually because the bottles don't come full full to the to the top so yeah this is a hundred mils so 195 for that one you guys aren't feeling healy huh <laughs> okay so the next one is um oh this is a good one um a lot of uh people talk about this is a very sexy one this is also cray. This is real sexy. This is a sweet incense, but not sweet incense that is like really sugary. This mixes very well with, I've worn this once. It's very strong, very strong. When I say strong, I mean strong. Like you don't need a lot of, you don't need a lot with that one. Um, So that's also cray, E-A-U, or sacre, sacre bleu. I don't think that's how you pronounce that though. Also clay. And this is an amber warm spicy fragrance. And this has labdanum on the top. So this is like literally think spicy, think myrrh, think um, vetiver, think, you know, just bottom line is spicy notes in there. There isn't anything br br a broken down like 20 notes. This is very aromatic. So this, I would think, to me, this would smell good on, to me, this would smell good on a gentleman. It smells good on a lady too, but I think it smells mostly, if, if you like, if you like um, that mystique, you know, aromatic, spicy, myrrh, incensey vibe. This is less incensey than the other one, but this is very, very pretty, I think. Just not pretty like, I like pretty. I like Turkish rose. <laughs> I like Turkish rose and sugar. <laughs> That's what I like. Can you show the level for the Iris Nui? Yes. Let me put that up here. Iris de Nui is, let me get something flat. Oops. I got samples because I was sampling. So it is a little more than, can you see? A little more than half. So this will be the quarter mark right here. So it's a little, so I would say it's two thirds full. Yeah, it's two thirds full. Bring it a little closer here. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Nice. There we go. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. All right, so the next one, we talked about Eau Sucre. Oh, I didn't tell you the price, or did I? Eau Sucre. I'm trying to pronounce things properly because somebody came for me in the comments one time, and I'll be trying. I even go on, like, you know, when you go on YouTube or on Google and you say how to pronounce, you know, that's I, I, I practice, and half the time I, I get it right for the most part. Eau Sucre, I have it listed at 220. I will drop it to 210. So this one, and this one is almost full, as you can see. This one... It was, I bought it new. So, and I only sprayed it a couple times. So, 210. Make me a deal. What's it? I don't know. I think it's Let's Make a Deal. That's the name of the show. Let's see here. Girl, I got. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> 
my kids. I call my my son. He's like, my name isn't Arthur. That's the dog's name, Arthur. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So I have one, two, three more. Uh, Healy. So I have Blanc Poudre. Blanc Poudre is a very soft, clean front. Uh, think clean girl. You know, every, everybody's talking about the clean girl aesthetic right now. That's kind of a thing. Um, blank. It's powdery and clean. Yes, that's right. Man, I'm getting good, y'all. I'm getting good. I'm remembering notes. To be quite honest with you, I spend the majority of time in here or in my closet because I play with fragrance and makeup. I need a life. <laughs> so this is the floral woody must. Top notes is cotton blanc poudre. So think of if cotton had a scent. Rice notes at the top. Let me see something. Yeah. It's very clean. Clean girl aesthetic. Okay. Uh, floral notes are in the middle. Doesn't tell me what type of floral. So I'm assuming it's like a mixture of florals. White musk in the base. Vanilla and sandalwood is also in the base. It's very clean. Um, the one time I used blank poudre, I think I used it for, what did I use it for? This I have listed at 105. I will drop the price to 100. I think I used this it was the, was it the hangout at home or no, it wasn't a, a movie date with my husband. So we were going to be in close quarters and stuff like that. I'm trying to be nice to other people and not, you know, choke people out. So this one here, this, I would say it's almost half. It's a little over half, just a tad bit over half. Okay. Remember when you're looking at the bottle, you look at, this is glass down here. So the fluid starts there. So it's a tad bit over half. Do we? I see your last name and I'm either thinking you're from the Caribbean, specifically Haiti, or uh, French Virgin Islands. No, I'm, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. <laughs> or maybe you're just from Louisiana. <laughs> so yeah, Blanc Poudre, I let it go for 100 How dear my <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh gosh, I know, right? Oh, Haitian, yeah. Yeah. Sac passe. That's all I know. Sac passe, maboule. Uh, comment allez-vous? Well, that's actually French. When I went to Paris, we used this like an app my son had and he learned um he learns uh, French. Like, I'm telling you, this guy, my kid, he was he was just so wonderful, you know? So he's sick. He's, like, really sick. And here he is learning French. And he was doing, like, um, calculus and the upper level and all of that kind of stuff still when he was being homeschooled. He's, he was brilliant, man. I don't know where you get it from because I, I, me and Matt don't get along like that. And language. I'm hard. Spanish, I can pronounce. French, I could pronounce a little bit. I tried Russian, like just reading it. That was not, a, that was a no-go. <laughs> oh, she said Haiti. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're moving on from Blanc Poudre. If you wanted, let me know, please, in the comments. Again, this is a soft, white fragrance. It's light, clean girl aesthetic. Okay. And the next one is, I mentioned to you guys about Phoenicia. Phoenicia was specifically made for his wife. Um, I don't know the story other than that behind it. Let me pull it up. This one runs in the three to four hundreds, I want to say, because you can't find it. And I was fortunate enough to pick it up from a friend who she had it and she let it go. She let go almost her entire collection. So I picked it up because I thought people would be interested in new, unique fragrance brands instead of everything that everybody else was showing. I was trying to do something a little different. Turns out people aren't really interested in being or different. I don't know what that's about, but they like the same old stuff. So like, you know, we talking about... Um, Kayali released it. Everybody wants to see about Kayali. They look about 20 reviews to see that, or but they're not really interested in new brands so much unless it's like a bandwagon type of thing. So, you know. 
All right. So this one, Phoenicia. Phoenicia is, this one is in Sensi. It's sweet. It's sweeter than the rest of them. It has incense, vetiver, dates, agarwood, birch, labdanum, raisin, and sandalwood. And it has a rating of 4, 4.101. And this was created in 2015. So this is an old creation. Let's see here. Yeah, it does smell like, if you remember, fruitcake. Ah, good, 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 good one. So fruitcake, when you put all your fruits inside of the rum and stuff like that before you start, you know how you grind it up before you put the batter and all of that kind of stuff? That's the kind of date smell. It's sort of boozy. It's resinous. It's definitely resinous. And it, de it definitely has that woody, like a woody. It's not a perceptive woody, meaning that it, I think I smell wood. No, there's wood there, definitely. And that must be the agarwood, the wood. Yep. Yep. I could definitely smell the boozy dates on the skin. It's really pretty. Very different. This and also Cray, I think, are the two best fragrances. I think that um from the extreme, besides bubblegum chic, which I love, that's the tuberose. It's tuberose heavy. So I've got bubblegum chic and I've got um it's bubblegum chic. He just called it something else. I've got those two that I'm keeping for now because I love those. But yeah, this is very sensual. Yeah, I could definitely envision this. And as it dries down, what happens is that incense comes up a little bit, like the incense of the, the wood. It just, it's just, it's grown. <laughs> grown folks, grown folks. Children need not apply. Okay, Frightness said perfume is your love language. I'm absolutely here for the new, the old, and the sweet. <laughs> Me too. I love sweet. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, so Phoenicia. Um, how much did I list it for? I think I listed this for three. Phoenicia. For 300 I will drop this to 280 I'll drop it by 20 bucks. This is, again, hard to come by. Okay, and the last Healy that I have is Coco Bella. This is a very, this is a favorite of a lot of people and I wasn't going to get rid of it. I changed my mind because I'm like, I only wore it twice last year. And I mean that, like literally I did a video and I decided to go ahead and spray it on me and I wore it uh, that after, it was a Saturday I filmed and I wore it that afternoon. I did get compliments on it. People were like, but I did layer though. I had on um, some sort of fragrance uh, body lotion. I don't even remember which body lotion I was wearing. But I remember I got compliments. I was in Sephora and people, you know, people were in close quarters in Sephora. And it's like, oh, you smell really nice, really fresh. I was like, you can smell my perfume. <laughs> right. And um, the second time I wore it, I think I wore it to work. But those, I only wore it twice. And I didn't really necessarily have to overspray with this one. This is a very clean, green coconut fragrance. It's much more realistic. It has like an oily, almost, um, if you think about coconut and you open up a coconut, the coconut jelly. The softness, the, the soft jelly, that slightly oily tinge, because coconut jelly isn't um, like clean feeling. It has like that oily, that's why you coconut oil and stuff. So you have that vibe to it. And I get that with the scent. It's not suntan lotion. It's none of that kind of stuff. So Coco Bella is the name of that. It's a very, it's a favorite. It's a very popular fragrance from Healy's line. Coco Bello, not Coco Bella. Coco Bello. So this is the green coconut. It's Yes, it is lactonic. Top notes of palm leaf, gardenia. The middle, you have your sea salt, vanilla, and coconut. I think it's a vacation scent, to be honest with you. Um, not like Tom Ford's. Um, not that type of vibe at all. It's very clean, aesthetic. It's very, I don't know how to say it other than rich. <laughs> you know, um, it's just different. Sandalwood, Virginia, cedar, and benzoin in the base. And Coco Bella. Oh, I did not have this listed for sale. So I will just put this one at, I'll put this at 155 because it's almost full. It's 195 for the full bottle on the site. Okay. I'm just scrolling the comments to see. I did show the level for the iris. Okay, so let's move on. Okie dokie, artichokey. 
The next one that I have is Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. I'm just running through the, this is a full bottle. It's been sprayed maybe, maybe four times, three or four times, one spray. This is a full bottle. This is that musky Narciso Rodriguez. I had about several of the collection and I'm down to just two now um, because I'm not using them. So I don't see the purpose to have them. Narcissa Rouge is powdery, musky. It's, excuse me, violet. And this one, I like them. I really do. I don't, I don't find anything wrong, especially with the cubes. I like every single one of them um, that I have. I have the older versions. I didn't buy any of the new ones because I didn't see any to buy. Like, again, not buying fragrances I'm not going to use. So the top notes are Iris and Bulgarian Rose. The middle, you've got your musk, your tuberose, your orange blossom. And in the base, you've got Tonka Bean, white cedar extract, cedar sandalwood. So you got your woods in the bottom with a little bit of vanilla. This one, uh, yeah, right off the bat, it's a little more bright, less the muskiness for me, it's a little more bright where you get that rose. So this would layer really well with um, Kama Sutra oil. It will also layer, where is my Delina? It will layer well with Delina because of the rose. The rose is very prominent in this fragrance. And I think that's why he calls it rouge. So it's rose and iris at the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This will, this will layer really good with Kama Sutra. It is. It is, Shanae. Hi. Yep, it is. So let me know if you guys are interested. Narciso Rouge. Narciso Rouge. Oh, I have it listed down here in the book. I hear footsteps. I'm filming. I'm filming, honey. You want us to come and say hi? Come on. Hurry up. Andale. Say hello. Right Hi. there. There's a camera. Hi, my name's Nathan. You might have seen me a while ago. <laughs> okay. I love you, Mama. I love you too. Mm. Oh, yep. Huh? Oh. Nathan, don't. Don't with the light. Please leave. Thank you. So I can get this done. It is EDP. I do too. The Must Noir Rose. I smelled it in the store and I almost bought it. And I'm like, why am I doing that? It's not necessary. So cut it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nathan, um, I'm supposed to be starting his channel up. It's been a year and I've been supposed to be trying to start a kid's YouTube channel for him so he can do his gaming and stuff. But the problem with starting a kid's YouTube channel is that you can't comment. And one of the things that he likes doing is commenting. Like he likes to see you guys comment when he does videos and whatnot. So I kind of put that on the back burner and I'm in the process of trying to create his own Instagram. You know, I just want to make sure it's safe. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yep, he is, he's something else. That boy's something else. So I want, I don't want to over, like, I want to give the same price I gave the last time, which I don't know where it is. I don't remember how much I sold the last one for, but we will go with Farah, My Way, Tom Ford, Fabulous, Strick Nina. We'll just go with 75. And if it's lower than that, I will, whomever picks it up, I will... I will just drop the price once I find out. I'm sure I wrote it down somewhere. I just got to find it. So we'll just go with 75 for now. Oh, this is nice, y'all. All I'm thinking about is Kama Sutra and this. Kama Sutra goes with everything. You hear me? So let me show y'all one more time. This is the big bottle. It's the 90 mil. So it's three fluid ounces. Okay. Uh, 90 mils. What's the box? Yep, 90 mils, three fluid on. This is a big bottle. I like I like to buy bigger bottles because you get a better you get a better price point when you buy bigger bottles. Because what they do is they'll price the small ones like 95. Let's just say they price it for $95. And then they'll put the big one for like $120 or $130 you know, or something like that, which is double the amount of the size before that. Yeah. He is. He is. Thank you, Fredna. He's such a sweetheart. I love him to pieces. So, yeah. All my kids, they, they, they're well-mannered for the most part. 
for the most part. So that's that. That'll be 75 bucks. If it's less than $75, I will find my, um, for when I sold the other one, I'm just selling. If it's less than that, I will, whomever grabs it, I will research it before I, you know, collect your funds. Okay. Okay. So the next one I got to let go of is 1926 by his Trois de Parfums and 1904. Comes which goes with everything. I also love coconut milk. I haven't gotten anything else from Ray. I'm trying my best to be good, y'all. I'm trying my best to be good. You hear me? Because, you know, your girl ain't going to be working, so I got to put my coins away. <laughs> Unless I give me some brand deals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So those are by his Trois de Parfums. And there's the level. This is 1924. I don't know what I did with my lighting today, but it's so much better, except for my glasses, the glare on my glasses. But I'll figure that piece out another time. But my skin color, I don't look so washed out today. There we go. There you go. You can see it now. So this is 1904. So 1904, they have long names. Okay, so bear with me. 1904 by his Trois de Parfums. It's called Madame Butterfly Puccini Absolue. And it's an eau de parfum. These, I don't know if they're still making these, but this one has top notes of Neroli, Mandarin Orange, middle of Oris and Heliotropes. It's a, a tad bit powdery. And the base is sandalwood, cedar, and musk. It has a good rating on Fragrantica. Um, his Trois de Parfums are very unique fragrances. They really are. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one I choked myself out with um, in Lowe's. Um, they they come up on you like, um, I love the way they, they are, is, you know, the design. I like to, I used to do it like this one. I had like a few, about six or six, six, seven, eight, some of them, something like that. And I used to do like this because it looked like a little library, but um, I don't have the space. So anyways, this one here, I remember I put, sprayed it off into <laughs> Lowe's. And I'm like, I can't smell my perfume. I can't. Oh, that's when we were wearing masks. I can't smell my perfume. I can't smell my perfume. <laughs> I sprayed some more. And I was like, oh my God. I got in there. That thing settled. And people were like, oh, you smell really nice. And I was like, oh my gosh. It, it's, it was strong on my skin. My body was not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> okay. So let me know if you want 1904. That's Madame Butterfly. Madame Puccini Butterfly. Let me get the right name. It is called 1904 Madame Butterfly Puccini Absolute. And this, the likeness of this fragrance, not too many people said it smells like anything that, um, that I've smelled before. But yeah, there is no fragrance. Someone said that it smells similar to an Eternity fragrance, and I smell that Eternity fragrance at a Ross, I think it was, and there was no way. These fragrances are excellently blended. So that one, Madame da Blah Blah, where is she at? That's 1904. I want to say I said that was 105. Hold on one second. I let it go for, yeah, 100 I'm looking at the, yeah, 100. Okay. Let me know if you want it. And then the other one is 1926. Now, this one reminds me of when my, I was growing up in Trinidad. This, this is very nostalgic. This is beautiful as well. It's very, the, the year, 1926, is very reminiscent. If you could think about historical reference when you think about swing and, you know, that type of, you know, the hat, uh, maybe the pillbox, gloves. That's the vibe that this. these two give me those. That's what I think the Histoire de Parfum give me. Very unique, very interesting fragrances that takes you back in time when you're thinking about it and when you're wearing it. There isn't, in my opinion, there isn't a whole lot. You can go in any store right now and you can sniff their fragrances and you're not going to find fragrances that smell similar to um, Histoire de Parfum. That's what I really appreciate about that brand. So this one, I'll also let go for 100. Let me know if you are interested. They're almost full, as you can see. Okay? All right. Moving all along. 
See, that's what I'm talking about. Not all the people were interested in like unique fragrances. They just kind of want the regular stuff. So moving along, I have a cheapie. This is Pine Parfait. This is really pretty urban outfitters. I will let this go for, there we go. I would let this go for $15. I don't wear it. It's sitting there. It's a pretty fragrance. It's an easy fragrance. Jump out of the shower, spray it on. It's fresh, clean, beautiful fragrance. It is sweet. Um, great Gatsby. Yes, 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 yes. Pat, yes, you do need to try Kama Sutra. I don't know what's going on with Nika. Something wrong with Nika. Okay. <laughs> Kama Sutra is that chick. She is just so freaking good. She's wonderful. She smells great. Everyone, and I mean everyone that I have introduced that oil to, including in the Saks. I went to Saks and I went to Neiman Marcus and I carry a little atomizer. You know, I decant it a little bit and I carried it with me and stuff like that. And while they're talking, they're perfume. You know, they don't really, I can't say they don't know what they're talking about, but guy was like rubbing it on his hand. He's like, it smells very, I said, um, and I'm waiting for him to say Arabic, right? Because that's what everybody, oh, it smells like one of those. Ar nope, it sure don't. It smells very, very good. It's it's almost like the extract of a fragrance. That that layered with any, any fragrance at all. And by the way, if you're buying Kama Sutra from Ray, I have a discount, Pam 10, you get 10% off. I don't make any commission off of it. Okay. So my recommendation, if you're getting it, get it, use my discount, get yourself some $10 off, especially if you buy the big basket. I think the big basket is one something like 195. Uh, don't get, don't quote me, but I know it's over hundred, but you're getting a whole bunch of stuff with it. He makes the products are great. The packaging is great. Great gift. Great mother's day gift. I'm keeping my eyes open because I'm thinking about sending some to my mom and my auntie. Okay. So let's move on. So $15 for Pine Parfait. If you want it, it's here. All right. Okay. Next one is Lem Patrice. And this is a good one. This is a watermelon fragrance. Can you see? This is still in the store full price. I'm halfway through this one. So I'm letting it go. I wore it last year. I've had my time with it. If you're interested in it, I'll let this go for, I think it's like 80 bucks in the store or a little bit more. Let me pull it up and see how much it is. But you can probably find it at TJ Maxx. I don't know. I don't see it anymore. I used to see it in TJ Maxx for $45 or $50, something like that. Okay, hold on. But I know I see it in Ulta. And um, that's the only place I see it in Ulta and inside the perfume stores. This is the Fruity Floral. It is ozonic. It's watermelon, strawberry, pink peony. Damascro, Cyclamen. This would layer really well with uh, strawberries and cream from Myth Parfums. It's got musk, woody notes, sandalwood, and smoke in the base. So it's got some depth to it. And it has a slight, and I mean a slight powdery vibe with the musk. But the musk to me comes off a bit sweeter and sexier, for lack of a better word. I think it's a great summer fragrance. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So I will let this go for 25 bucks if you're interested. That's Lamp Patrice, number three. Okay. Moving right along. Next, I have Tom Ford, and I'm taking this out. It comes with an atomizer. Okay. And I think I was selling this for $50 the last time. So this is F Fabulous, F and Fabulous by Tom Ford. And this is nice, but I'm not going to wear it. And my husband told me to stop buying him perfumes. Besides, he can use my stuff because half of my stuff he likes anyways. So he can use my stuff. So you bought two when it was on sale. Yeah, yeah. It is a great deal. It's a watermelon buddy cream and it lasts all day when I got mine. I bought two. It was on sale. Where did you, what water, you got to tell me what um watermelon body cream you use. Fredna says she'll take it. It's you, which one, the Tom Ford or this one? Which one do you want, Fredna?
Yeah, just tell me which one you want. Whether it's this one, the Olympic threes, or the Tom Ford. All right, so the next one that I have, not the Tom. Okay, so you want this one. Got it. It's yours. I think, how much did I say this was? <laughs> I need to be writing. <laughs> I need memory pills. I was taking Mighty Strong told me about this thing called Astanga, and I'm oh I'm I'm done. Like I need to go to Target and pick me up another uh, another bottle. Lim Patrice, and that's Fredna. Twenty five. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So the next one that I have, this is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I sold the other bottle and this, I'm looking to see how much it is. I think this is a 10 mil, the little baby one. I'm not going to use it. So I'm letting that go. Oh, I'm just chuck it in there. Yeah. This is just 10 bucks, $10 if you want it. Well, I'll just chuck it in with some of these stuff. And then the other one is, um, this is by Diptyque, guys. I've tried several Diptyque fragrances, and I can't get down with the brand. I don't know what it is. I go in the store. I'll smell them. I'll like them, some of them, when I'm in the store. And I don't know if it's because I'm in the store, like Nordstrom carries it. And, you know, the whole perfume section in Nordstrom. Maybe it's because I'm smelling other things at the same time. But they don't go, they don't do nothing for me. They really don't. So this here is a 10 mil of Lombre Dance Low. And if you want it, 20 bucks. That's yours. That's a 10 mil. Let me write that down because y'all know I forget. <laughs> I already forgot. And that's by the Teak. Twenty bucks, and then, whoopsie. Okay. All right. So let's move this out the way. Sweet by um. If you have a teenager or that that likes like perfumes, that's a good perfume for a teenager because it's not too sweet. It's not like candy. You know those really really sweet fragrances is not like that. That's what I like about that one. So let me know if you guys are interested in that one. The next one that is, uh, oh, hold up. Let me move these forward. I almost forgot these over here. So this is Alien by, this is brand new. I have not used this. This is because um, I have the big bottle. This is a 10 mil size of Alien Moogler's um, Alien Goddess. And this is the, is this the Intense? Yes, this is the Intense version. This is brand new. Now let this go for 35. I'll take the one, Pam. I've been waiting to try it. Which one, Teresa? This this one? Oops, 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 oops. Arthur, why did Nathan let you guys in here? The other one. The Tom. Okay, so I have. Now you got me wondering which one you're talking about. The other 10 mil. Oh, the Diptyque. Okay, gotcha. Got it. Okay. All right, so. Does anyone want this one? This one is, I think I said $35. This is brand new. This is the Moogler Intense. Going once, going twice. Oh, Fredna wants it. Gotcha. Okay, I got gotcha. you. 
All right. Okay, so moving right along, we've got Hane Morai. I will let this go for 20 bucks. I've used it, as you can see. I really like this perfume, but I have other fragrances that fit the bill, so I'm letting this go. This is Hane Morai, and this is, I want to say this is the Eau de Toilette. Hold on, let me get my little magnifying glass. Yep. My magnifying glass needs to be washed. Yep, it is auto toilette. It smells really good. Let me pull up the notes real quick. I really like this. I wore that. That was my signature scent for a couple of years. And then when I deployed, I took it with me. I bought one and I took it with me. And when you're deployed, it's you, you know, you need yourself some some smell good all the time. Hane Morai. I'm trying to find the eau de toilette. The, the notes don't really differ, to be honest with you. Okay. So it is a fruity, woody, sweet, yellow floral, and you will get all of that. It's a very good fragrance for the price. It has almond in it, like an almondy note to it. But what it is is actually um, wood <laughs> and the tree, not the almond plant, like not the actual nut, the actual tree leaves. So it's strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, and black currant to the top. You've got your lang ylang, jasmine, rose, and peony in the middle. And then in the base, that's where you got that almond tree, not the nut, but the tree. Brazilian was rosewood, Virginian cedar, and sandalwood. And so those are the woody notes, plus a little bit of green in the bottom. The mid, you've got your florals and your lang ylang. And then you've got strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, and black currant at the top. So you've got fruits, berries at the top. It's sweet. Mm hmm It's really good. Yes. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful fragrance. Oopsie. Oi. Let me see if I had Hane Morai listed before. I did not. Okay. All right. So moving on, we've got a few more to go. We've got a uh, Guerlain. Put this down here. We've got Guerlain, and this is Aqua Allegoria Norolia Bianca. Is that Blanca or Bianca? Bianca. So that's a fresh, um, think juicy floral with a little bit of pedigree at the top. Well, not a little bit. It's it's fresh. It's really pretty on the nozzle. On my skin, I don't know if it's my medication, guys. I just did a video the other day talking about this, but I don't know if it's my medication, but I find myself struggling with pedigree. That note, especially if it's at the opening of a fragrance, I struggle with it. And it's been like, that used to be my jam. This here, I loved. I had bought this. I had like four bottles of these and I sold all of them. And I kept just this one because I was like, why, why do I need all of those backups, right? I was a backup queen. <laughs> Anyways, I ended up like selling all of them. And then we moved here and then I got sick. And then my perfumes, they don't always, um, they, don't, they don't always work the way I want them. So Aqua Allegoria. I sold the Mandarin Basilic. I had Herba Fresca. I sold them all for the most part. So this is Norolia Blanca. Well, that has Neroli. Norolia Bianca. This is a citrus fr fragrance. It's sort of fresh. Not sort of. It is fresh. It's got Neroli, bitter orange, orange blossom, pedigree, orange leaf, and orange. And it smells like that. It smells like beautiful orange.
Oh, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Pregnant says she's got her name or I. Okay, let me write you down. <laughs> Hi, Tanika. I see you. Okay. All right, so <laughs> mighty. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so the next one that I have is Aqua Allegoria. We talked about this already. I would let this go. I don't know how much these are going for anymore. I know they're pretty expensive. Hi, Shasta. It's so good to see you guys. It really is. Yes. It feels it feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good. It's like girlfriends and one guy. <laughs> okay, so let me pull up Aqua Allegoria Norolia Blanca. Let me see if I can find where they're selling it. So I know um the only place that I've seen it so far, like physically seen it, is in the Colomb boutique online. And physically I've seen it. I RPX don't even carry them anymore. And it's always sold out. So price with coupon is $68.59 for a full bottle. So I will drop this because this here, the bottle starts here. So I would let this go for $55. I'm trying to find, um, it looks like mine is sold out. Yeah. I see everything else but this one. Ginger, pera, orange, petite noir. Guerlain makes some really good fragrances, guys. I'm scrolling through to see to make sure that I'm giving a good price. Nope, it's sold out. It's sold out. That's what I was talking about. I find that I, I, I want to keep fragrances just because I know that it's hard to come by. But if I'm not going to wear it, I think that somebody else should enjoy it. And that's pretty much one of the things that I'm looking at right here. Yeah, I'm doing good. We're doing, I'm so glad. I'm, oh, this is so good. So let me know if you guys want this. Um, eh, I'll do 50 instead of 55. I'll do 50 for this one. Let me write that down. Yeah, Guerlain is freaking wonderful, in my opinion. They make really good fragrances. Okay. All right, so I have a Tom Ford. This is, uh, oh, Tanika, this is uh, Aqua Allegoria Norolia Bianca. Let me bring it up a little closer. So when the bottle's full, it's about here. It, it's never ever full up till here. So as you can see, it's almost full. I barely wore this one. Um, it's the last. I had several of them, but I'm letting them go because I'm not. I'm not wearing them. So I let this go for fifty dollars. Okay, so the next one that I have, I literally just bought it like two weeks ago. <laughs> but I prefer the original. I thought I preferred the order toilette, but I actually prefer the original. I sprayed them today and I was like, just to make sure. And this is Aura by Mugler, but this is the Mugler, but this is the order toilette. So this is a full bottle. This I literally unpackaged. Where's the box? It's around here somewhere. I literally, literally bought this two weeks ago. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad. You know, I was like, why did I do that? And then I'm like, uh...
So it is currently, this is the, what size is this? This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. So currently it is $55.99 on Fragrance Net. So I will let it go for 50 bucks, for $50 with that coupon. That's how much it is. I'm just going to buy it with the coupon price. So I'll let this go for $50 if anyone's interested. It's a brand new bottle. I'm looking around because I don't know what I did with the box. Because I was so happy that I had it. And then I sprayed the original, which... I really, really like, and I prefer the original over the other toilets. I'm like, I'm not going to keep both of them. Yeah, it is. It is. You can hardly find it. So that's that. Let's move this to the left. Let me write that down. Aura. Yes, that's what it's called. Aura. Okay. And so what else do I have? I have this. This is Almond Harmony, and this is by the House of Oud. The level, let me see if I can see it. Where's my flashlight? Where's the flashlight? I don't know if it's going to work. I tried it earlier. I don't know if you guys can see. Nope. I thought it would show up on the camera. But I think it has to be like dark. Let me see. Nope, you can't see it. You're just seeing the light. But this is about 30 mil left in here. About 30 mil left in here. Yeah. So I will let this go for 110. 30 mil out of a 50 mil bottle. No, 75. I'm sorry. It's more than 30 mil. It's 75 mil. So hold on. I got to see how much is in here. I just did this the other day. There we go. So it is the level is, is here. I think you're supposed to turn the bottle like this. My bad. These bottles are absolutely stunning. Yep. So this is, the bottle is about here, about here. So I'll let this go for 110 if you're interested. You have this. <laughs> Y'all my peoples, okay? I'm trying to bring my fragrance down to a, a size because I know I'm going to be buying this year. A lot of stuff is being released and whatnot. And if I'm not going to use, like I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, seven, Talia Ferro, eight. I think I have almost all the Talia Ferros that I wanted. So I have about eight bottles. So besides the one that I was gifted, I think I'm going to let go of the rest of them. And, um, but not today. I'm going to do that another, another sale. Yep. The House of Ooh. So Almond, Almond Harmony. Yes. That's what this is. Almond Harmony 110. Let's go. 105. How about that? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let it go. I want to sing the song. Let it go. I don't think that's how that song went though. Okay. Next, I have Chanel number 19, Poudre. And this is barely used. Okay. Barely used. So pretty. This is a good clean girl scent. Great for this time of the year. Where this gets hot. Temperature if you live anywhere in the South. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't really matter if you live in the South because New York gets real hot too. Up North gets real hot. So let me know if you guys are interested in this one. Number 19. I wonder if it's on their site. Let's go to Chanel. You know who got me into Chanel? Like a lot of Chanel's is, um, is uh, Sheree. 
And I went, anything I could get my hands on, I was buying. And not necessarily that I, because it was so hard to come by where I was located in Lawton. But to be honest with you, you know, not all of them are great in my opinion. But this one, number 19, is a very interesting, ooh, that's expensive. Chanel raised their prices, by the way. Everybody raised their price, to be honest with you. Everybody did. I was giving a hard time to, um, to, uh, Kriegler when I was making fun of Kriegler and stuff for the price raise, uh, but everything, prices have gone up on everything. You know, it doesn't really matter what, what it is. It's gone up everywhere. So I like it. I wouldn't say I love it. You know, I like it. And I have um, about four of the Chance line. I've got Gabrielle. I've got both Coco Mademoiselles. Um, got a lot of them so i'm like eh. oh that's your signature scent yeah i have the intense and the original mademoiselle and i didn't buy the the night one i don't have the the, the number five low that one is nice but it didn't last very long on my skin and right now I'm, i mean i don't mind fragrances not lasting long anymore i just i'm not really feeling that bad that i have to smell the same for 10 hours you know what i'm saying so yeah Yep, Coco Mademoiselle is a beautiful fragrance. And I actually wore um, Coco the other day, and I bought a backup of Coco. I don't know why I did that, but I did. <laughs> so I have, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so the next one that I have is, I'm making sure, I'm looking around to make sure that we go through all of those uh, fragrances that I am releasing for today. Okay, so this is Tom Ford's Rose Prick. I have tried really, 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 really hard to love this fragrance. And I just like it. That is it. I do not love it. I like it. And I think I I think I wanted to love this because everybody else was talking about it. People were saying, you know, it had its era and it, it had its COVID era. There are fragrances that have its, I call it the COVID era. You know, they became big and they blew up because people were, you know, one person would say that person was like popular or whatever. And then everybody was talking about it and all of a sudden everybody wants it. And so, yeah. Yep. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. You can't do patchouli forward fragrances. So when I see Chanel for a nervous because they love patchouli, they do, but their patchouli to me, their patchoulis are done differently. So I have, oops, I have a fragrance you can't get your hands on. Well, you probably could on the gray market. This is patchouli aromatique by um, Lancome. And this patchouli smells different than Chanel's patchouli. Chanel's patchouli has a very, I want to say like my bracelet, my bracelet's vintage now, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all did. Lord, I'm so damn tangential. Let me show y'all. So y'all remember these, the loose side bracelets and earrings that uh, Louis Vuitton made a few years ago. Well, it's not a few years ago. It's, it's been a while. In the mid 2000s, I think it was. I love these things. And so I would just collect whatever color I could get my hands on. I would buy them. And now, you know, you don't see them in the stores. But the thing is that when the earrings broke, my earrings broke. I have hoops. When the 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 stem comes off of it, a jeweler has to solder that into there. So I took it to a jewelry, to Zales, because that's where normally where I buy a lot of my jewelry. And then I have a private jewelry store that we like, London's, uh, Jewels of London. But anyways, bottom line is this. They, if they're not master jewelers or they don't know how to work with different products like clay and loose sight and things of that nature, um, they're not going to take your stuff to fix it. So my post broke off of my Louis Vuitton hoops and now I have not been able to wear it since it broke off before Chris died. So it's almost 10 years now I've had those hoops and I cannot wear them. Yeah. Yes, Chance is really good. Chance is really good. Chance gives you that nice fruity vibe. My favorite is Autandre. I have like three or four, four of them. Three, three. I sold some of them. Like I had uh, Autandre Eau de Parfum and I had the Eau de Toilette. They smell very similar. So I let go of the Eau de Toilette, I think. Okay, so Patchouli Aromatique has that patchouli smell that Dior Patchouli had, but I could not do that Dior Patchouli. Um, so even with this one, 
when I wear this, I wouldn't spray this up here. I would spray it down by my wrist and stuff like that because I don't know, maybe I should let this go. Yeah, maybe I should let this go. Because I like the smell, but I don't, it's not something that I'd be like, I like to smell my perfume. I like to put my face in my arm and constantly be smelling. That's just me. I don't know if everybody's like that, but that's kind of how I am. So does anyone want this? This is Tom Ford's Rose Prick. It's pretty much almost full, like literally. Um, Let's see here. Gonna probably list some of these items. Wait a minute. Does Sephora not carry? Um, oh, there we go. So Sephora has it listed. This is the 1.7 ounce for oh my god. The price <laughs> off. The price done went up, y'all. Off, oh. Arthur. The price is oh my gosh, four hundred dollars for a bottle of Tom Ford now. Jeez, you is. Oh, I just clicked on the five, the the three the three. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it gives me comfort. I love doing it. I don't know why people, uh, I don't know if people pretend that they don't. It's another good thing, y'all. Them Dior lip balms, they're the bomb.com. I got one in every part of the house. <laughs> and kitchen. Mm -hmm. Lost cherry and bitter peach. I have lost cherry. I do not like bitter peach. And as a matter of fact, there is a dupe for bitter peach that people are saying is much better. But I'm not a like heavy, heavy, heavy peach lover. So, yeah. So let me know if you guys are interested. I will give y'all a deal on that because right now it is $395 for this size. So I would let this go. If you are interested, I would let it go for $345. Bucks. Wow. If I could find it cheaper, I would, but I don't see it cheaper anywhere else. I just looked up. Actually... Jeez, you wheeze. Let's drop that a little bit. Three twenty-five. Yeah, let's drop that a little bit more. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. So nobody wants the Chanel and nobody wants the Tom Ford. So far, I don't see anyone claiming it. Okay. Next, I have my sister wears it more than I do. <laughs> My daughter uh, wears my um, my uh, Killian more than I do. Okay, so next up is this set. And this is by The Harmonist. I just purchased this um, a couple weeks ago. And two of the scents are not jibing with me. And two of them are. But instead of, you know, selling just the two, I'm just going to go ahead and sell the set. And that way you get the um, the person, whoever purchases it, get the atomizer that comes with it. So this is what it looks like. Take it out of the light. There we go. That's what the set looks like. And I believe I paid $2.95 plus tax for this. So I will let it go for $2.95 because it's brand new. I only sprayed the Moon Glory. From this set, I sprayed the Moon Glory and the Sun Force. Those are the two that I sprayed from here. I sprayed once on my hand. So if you're interested in this, I will let, actually I'll drop it by 10 bucks, 285 for this. If you are interested in the Harmonist set. So it has four fragrances. I'm going to put it back in here real quick because I got Butterfingers. Okay, so this has uh, Moon Glory, Sun Force, Yin Transformation, and Hypnotizing Fire. So those are the four fragrances that come with this set. So two, what did I say? 280, 275. Dropping it. I just keep dropping. Keep me on here any longer. <laughs> it might be free. <laughs> so that's just for tonight. I'm gonna put I'm gonna post it on our um Facebook group and see if anybody wants it. But it's gonna go back to the price because I just got this. So that's a whole set plus the atomizer for it. 
And that is the Harmonious, Harmonious set. Okay. And the last perfume that I have, I'm looking around to make sure it is the last one that I have. And I think it is the last one. I'm looking, I'm double checking. I'm like scrolling my eyes around here. Is This is A La Rose and this is by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. As you can see, barely used. I'm looking up the notes for you guys. Of course, it, it has rose in it. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is not the X straight, I don't think. Yeah, this is the Eau de Parfum. And this is top notes of Calabrian bergamot and California orange, middle notes of Bulgarian and grass roses. And then it has violet and magnolia. And then the base has musk and cedar. And the stores, the discount size is selling them for $275. I know it's more than that right now. So I am going to drop this down to $240. Let me double check. And uh, I'm going to check um, Fragrance Buy real quick. If they have a lower price. Oh hell. Fragrance buy Fragrance Buy has it for $174.55 for the 70 mil. So I'm gonna drop it even further. I'm gonna go down to their price point. And since this is barely used, I'm just gonna drop it to 170. So if you're interested in Aloe Rose, let me know. And that's not with shipping and stuff, of course. They're like $174.55 plus you have to pay for the shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just drop it mine to $170 and leave it. Call that George. <laughs> all right. So any takers? No takers. Okay. So the Chanel is a, nobody wants a Chanel. All right, so I'm going to, what did you dislike about this? I have um, Fumi, I have Fumi's Rose Fragrance Exalté, which I love. I have Le Beau by Maison Francis Kirk Jean. I have um, La Colle Noir by Dio. I have a lot of other fragrances. I didn't dislike anything other than it doesn't woo me. It doesn't wow me. And I think, and I just picked up um, Amorous Femme, which has a slight uh, rosy tone to it. So for me, it, it's not like it's bad. It's not bad. I just found, you know, other roses that I like to wear more, you know? So that's about it. And then the X-Trade to me, you know, I was going to invest in the X-Trade to be honest with you, because I like the Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Trade better than the Baccarat Rouge 540. And I like it mixed with, um, Kama, everything smelled better with Kama Sutra, to be honest with you. But yeah, so I'm like, why hold on to it? So yeah, that's why I was letting it go. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do a quick going back this way. So the last thing we talked about was the Aloe Rose. Drop it to $170 for a full bottle, barely used, like literally barely used. Okay, I'm talking about onesies and twosies spray, one one spray. Okay. Then we have the Harmonist set. I think I dropped this to 275. Yep, I did. I dropped this to 275. Right now, this is in store for a hundred, two hundred and two hundred and ninety-five dollars, I think it is. So I dropped this to 275. This has Sun Force, Hypnotizing Fire, Moon Glory. Um, let me turn a second, read it. Yin Transformation, those four fragrances in there, plus the atomizer. And I dropped that to 275. <laughs> Are you do you want this one for 175? Once no 170. 170. Do you want this? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, did you want this? <laughs> okay. 
So you want them, you want the aloe rose spreading in? Okay, gotcha. All right. Okay, so we're going to put that over here. Okay, then we have Tom Ford's Rose Prick. Here, we said this was 325. Let me know if you are interested. Let me see. I'm going back to fragrance buy. See the price. If I can do better, if they have good prices, then what's the point in? They do not. Oh, yeah, they do. Hold on. Okay. It's sold out. Ooh. It's sold out. A lot of people like that, huh? Let's try Fragrance Net. Rose Prick. Did I pull up the nose for Rose Prick? I don't think so. Rose Prick is a, it's a pretty fragrance. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I'm at a, I'm at a place in my life where I'm just... There's no follow the leader anymore. There's no, I'm not going to be influenced by other people or whatever. I'm just not going to do that. I'm just not. So Rose Prick has May Rose, Bulgarian Rose, and Turkish Rose in the middle. The top, it starts off. That's why it's spicy and turmeric. It's got turmeric and Sichuan. Is that how you say it? No, Sichuan. Sichuan pepper at the top. And then the base has patchouli and tonka beans. So it doesn't have a lot. It has a, it's a spicy rose. It's a very spicy rose. To me, it comes up as a spicy rose. So let me see here. How much did I say this was 325? Let's drop this to 265 to 270. I can do 270. Yeah. Where's my pen? I'm gonna slash the price because I want to move this to 270. Yes, me too. Me too. <laughs> yes, and I appreciate her. I appreciate her. Can you get this one too? <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this to 270 instead of 325. I just slashed the price for Tom Ford's Rose Prick. Rose Prick. Let me get my mag light. Let's see if it works. Oh, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look. See that? It's a full bottle. You see it? Hold on. Yep, it's a full bottle. So, you want it? Okay. All right, going back, I think I said Pine Parfait was, I think it's $15. Yeah, Pine Parfait, 15 bucks. And Ala Rose is sold, so I'm not going to pick that up. Did anybody get the, I don't think anybody picked this one up, the Chanel? No, nobody picked up the Chanel number 19. Chanel number 19. I think someone picked up the Le, 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 good Jesus, I cannot talk. And then we have, um, I don't think anyone picked up the, this one that, the red, the rouge, Narcissa Rouge. Did anyone get this one? I don't I don't have my anybody written down for this one. 75, I think I said 75. And if it's cheaper anywhere, I will let me pull it up on Fragrance Buy. That's the best way to. I like to use the they have the to me, they have the best prices. Narcissa Rouge. I think Narciso Rodriguez Rouge would go really well with, you know, I say everything will go well with, um, oh, shoot. It's, okay, 45, 45, oh, no, that's for the 30 mil. Never mind. Hold on. Let me see the 90 mil. That's the size. 65. Okay, so we'll do $65 for this one. Brand new, sprayed a couple times to, you know, to demonstrate to you guys. 
if I sprayed it. Yeah, I sprayed it. I did spray it. it smells good. I sprayed it tonight. So 65 for this one. Not 75, but 65. Let me write that down before I forget. Okay. Then we have this one is Orhani Morai has been taken. We do have the His Water Parfums 1904 and 1926. And those, I think I dropped the price tonight, didn't I? A hundred dollars. That's what I said. Yep, for these two. Per per bottle. Let me know if you guys want these. That's the um these two. These are by His Toilet Parfums. Madame by the Fly Puccini and 1926. I think someone took the girl on. Oh no, nobody took the girl on. So this is Aqua Allegoria. $50. We have Almond, Almond Harmony. This is 105. If you want it, I'll even drop it to 100. Get it out of here. <laughs> We've got Tom Ford. Oh, Lord, my back. Tom Ford Rose Prick. I said $50 earlier. Let's drop this to $45. Comes with the atomizer. No, not Rose Prick. I'm sorry. Effing Fabulous. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't get the uh, thing to, to like focus the camera. So I'll drop this to 45 for you guys. And it comes with its atomizer. We have Aura. This is $50. This is brand new. Just bought this, uh, not last week, but the week before my birthday haul. The egg is yummy. It is a, let me pull it up. I'll tell you the notes real quick. It has an almond, that's why it's called Almond Harmony. The almond Harmony is sweet. It's an amber fragrance. When you look it up, it has a balsamic vibe to it. Um, it's got orange blossom at the top, pedigree. Oh, it's really pretty. Slightly powdery, slightly, not like a lot of powder. It has iris, heliotrope, so it gives that smoothness. It's very smooth. It's a very well blended fragrance. Um, the House of Oud, they make good fragrances. Okay, so you've got almonds, then you've got your floral. So you've got iris, jasmine, rose, and heliotrope in the middle. And then you've got vanilla, tonka bean, tulu balsam, peru balsam, and musk in the base. And then at the top, you've got the almonds and the citrus note. This is really pretty, just off the nozzle, sniffing it. But it's a gorgeous bottle. It's one of the prettier bottles I was fortunate to get. So I'll drop the price of that to 100 if you're interested. Yes. Yes. The answer to that is yes. Yes. Yep. This is nice. It is your style. So I have, oh, I took it down. This is already, I have a couple of almond fragrance. I have the almond fragrance by Valentino that I barely wore and hardly see it in the store. And then I have other fragrances. I like almond, but I have other fragrances. I really need to use up. And especially with nutty vibes, I do like those type of fragrances. But for me, I have, I have to reduce my collection where it's manageable. I don't have to buy a full bottle to do a review. I don't think that's necessary. Okay. So you'll take it. Got it. Thank you. Mighty. Carolyn. Okay. All right. 
So let's see here. What do I have? Oops. I've got, no one took this one yet, I don't think. This is the um, Aura by Moogler. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is brand new. I'm looking, the price is $50, brand new. And then, and then, honey, all right, so I've got a ton of Heelys. Now, if you are interested in something unique, if you're interested, if you like incense, you like leather, well, I would say some of his fragrances have leather, but it's mostly incense vibe is what I get with his fragrance. Very, um, I want to say Buddhist, but I don't want to say that and offend anybody, but that just kind of serene atmosphere, you know, where you're up in the hills and you, you know, you go to like, you know, those retreat type places. That's what I like about his fragrances. That's the kind of vibe that I get with his fragrances. My favorite in this batch right here, my favorite would be also Cray and Phoenicia. And I like, I like a lot of them. Okay. To be honest with you, Iris the Nuit is really nice as well. Coco Bella. No, Coco Bella is my favorite. I know why, because it's, it's tropical. Well, it's not tropical. It's more, it reminds me because it's a coconut. I don't mind. I like coconut fragrances and it's photosynth. It's not synthetic smelling. It doesn't have, it has like what a coconut smells like, like a real coconut. That's what it smells like. Nothing added, nothing, not like you go to the bakery and you buy coconut flakes and, you know, it has all of that crap in it, sh added sugar. It smells like real coconut. Green, slightly oily, what a real, what coconut jelly. If you ever made coconut or regular coconut that you cut, you let it dry out, that's what it smells like. <laughs> Thank you, Mighty. Okay. And then, so I've got also Cray, which is a little incensey but sweet. We've got Blanc Poudre, which is a cotton type fragrance, Clean Girl Aesthetic, as well as the Iris. This is an Iris fragrance. And then I also have Coco Bella, which I just mentioned to you guys before. Phoenicia was created for his wife. So this is a limited edition, for, limited edition, but it was like a, it was created in 2015, I want to say, is when this was on the market. You very rarely see it. Um, I think I have it listed for 300 on the Facebook group. So for tonight, if you guys want to get it, I will drop the price to $275. And then you have um, Agar Wood. This is an oud fragrance. This is a very good oud fragrance. And then we have Rose Aria, which is very photorealistic. And I use that term a lot, photorealistic, because it's kind of like if I can envision something in my mind and I can connect it to a fragrance, that's what I consider. Like it smells like what I would think something would smell like or should smell like. And so that's what Rose Aria is, like a clean rose garden, very pretty boat, very, I want to say Healy's, these heavy ones, I think that they would go good with both men and women. If you're looking for a fragrance that doesn't smell too typical, to um, the aesthetic is just very, you know, unique. That's that's the Healy brand. Um, so yeah, and those are those are it. I'm looking. I'm double checking and triple checking. What I'm gonna do is go through my fragrances once more. Again, like the collective upstairs and downstairs. I'm upstairs or upstairs and downstairs. I'm upstairs right now. And um, oh, hold on. I got one more. I just remembered. I was supposed to bring it over here. Hold on one second. Watch out, Arthur. Oh, 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 oh. Actually. I have three more. I'm sorry, guys. I'll let y'all go after this. So I have three more. I have the Dolce & Gabbana Intense, Pour Femme Intense. I have the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. And I have uh, Impression 51. This is a coffee fragrance. I was convinced to purchase this because Khalil, um, I was watching a live on um, Joe. Joe Sempi was doing a live with Bika, Victoria. And um, she has a perfume shop in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, she's she's very, you know, she's on Instagram. Anyways, they were talking about this fragrance. And so Yellow Sense, um, I think Claudia, um, so Farida, Claudia, Khalil was on the live. I want to say Michael was, I'm not sure if Michael was on there or not. But anybody, everybody was talking about this coffee fragrance. And I have, uh, I don't like black opium 
the original, I don't know what it is about that fragrance coffee note in there. It's just not sitting well with me. So I figured I would get this and I did get it and I did use it a little bit, as you can see right here. But for me, this fragrance it's too coffee. It smells literally, it's it's a literal coffee fragrance and it's too much for me. It gives me a headache. And so it's too strong for me. I cannot wear, I like sweet, I like super sweet, but I cannot wear fragrances like this, like gourmands. I love gourmands, but this one is straight up. It smells literally like coffee. It's a beautiful fragrance like a nice buttery coffee, like a really expensive bougie coffee actually. But it was just, it's just too much for me. So if you guys are interested, I think this is like $95. You can't really get this. You have to order this from um, La Parfumerie. So I think I paid $95 for it. And as you can see, I did use it a little bit. So I, it looks like it's missing like five mils. So I would let this go for 70, yeah, 70 bucks if you guys are interested. Okay, so that's Impression 51. And that's what it looks like. Let me bring it up a little closer. It has a wooden cap, just a wooden cap, nothing too fancy. And I want to say this, I don't know what brand this is, but I can't pronounce this stuff, but it has, yeah. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. And then I have Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. And I have Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme Intense. And I've had these for some time and I rarely wear them. And I mean rarely wear them. As you can see, can you see that? These are like $75 or whatever in the store. Let me see how much Fragrance Buy has it for. So Fragrance Buy has the 100 mil, which this is, yes, the 100 mil for $55. So I will let it go for 50. And I'm looking for the other one. I think I wore that fragrance twice total. Same price. So that's also, yeah. So I would let this go for, I would let this go for 45. Yeah, 45. And these prices are not inclusive of shipping. Once I pack up you guys' stuff, then I'll tell you what the shipping is going to cost. Let's see. Anybody want these? 50, 45. Okay. And the coffee fragrance, I think I said 70. Let's drop it some more, 65. I need to write this stuff down, y'all. <laughs> like, Pam, that's what you said. You said, I always forget. Anyone interested in the Dolce & Gabbana? Okay, so for those of you, I see uh, 24 people is on the live, so I'm just going to run through real quick. I have the Dolce & Gabbana fragrances. Okay, I'm going to drop it because I want to get rid of this stuff. So I'm, I'm dropping, I'm slashing prices. So I said 50 for this one. We'll drop this one to 45 and we'll drop this one to 40. Ugh, oopsie. Those are marshmallow-y, soft, sweet fragrances. In my opinion, they're soft and sweet. Then we have Impression 51. This is a coffee fragrance, coffee flavored fragrance. It's a niche fragrance. I got it from La Parfumerie, La Parfumeria, um, La Parfumerie. And uh, this one, uh, I think I paid $95 for it. So I'm going to drop this one. I think I said I'm dropping this to 60 bucks. Yeah, slashing prices. Okay, and these are a hundred dollars a piece, so I will drop these to ninety five each. 
and that's his daughter perfumes drop the price to 95 each nathan take that to daddy so he can help you with your homework honey please i'm on live i'm on live Okay, and then I have Chanel number 19. This is a beautiful green fragrance. It's light, it's springy, it's great for the cool weather. I did make a decant. Um, when I that's probably, that's why you see the little dent there. So we were out by the pool and stuff like that. We were on uh, not vacation. We we're in the pool. We were at um, oh my god, Six Flags. And so I put it in the refrigerator and I took it with me because it's hot out there. And so that's what I use this for. So number 19 did i put a price on that yet i don't think so so i will put that at 75. yeah 75 for chanel number 19. i gave you guys the prices on that the rose prick we got that already and the uh Nerolia Bianca nobody's gotten that one yet so let me know if you guys decide that you want any of these that I talked about today what I'll do is um at the bottom of this live once it goes on live at the bottom what I'll do is I'll put the dog on uh prices yeah I'll put the prices on on the bottom or you could reach out to me via Instagram and just message me and whatnot if you want to and then to make payments you just do PayPal I prefer Zelle um or cash well no i prefer zello paypal cash app i accept all three it doesn't really matter right now and just let me know what you're paying for and then i'll tell you what the shipping what it is you purchase and then i'll tell you the price as well as the um shipping how much the shipping is going to be um i didn't know pr shipping prices i used to be able to just uh, put something on a scale and mail it out. And I don't know what happened with USPS, but stuff has gone like haywire. So I was shipping, I normally ship UPS and <laughs> I went to ship, I think it was Teresa's little package. <laughs> she told me $27. I think I texted Teresa. I can't remember if it was Teresa or if it was Nikki, but I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And she's like the size, ma'am, it's the size of the, the box. I said, but it's a light box. She's like, I know, but it's the size of the box. And I'm like, I don't want to put things in packaging and then it breaks and whatnot. So that was like really sucky. And then I bought, um, I shipped a bottle for someone and it cost me almost $18 to ship a bottle of fragrance. One bottle. That's it. So yeah, Zell. I love Zell. Yeah. Okay. So all right, so we've got it all done together. I will put the name listening together. Remember, reach out to me on, in, not on, yes, on Instagram Messenger, and that way I can keep track. It's the easiest way because I'm either on Messenger on uh, Facebook, but very rarely am I over there unless, um, like you know, late at night or whatever. But I'm mostly, or you know, I'm chatting on during my lunch hour when I take my break. But most of the times, I'm on Instagram Messenger. Um, you can reach me there as well. So you can reach me on both places. If you prefer Facebook or if you prefer um, Instagram, that's up to you. Um, I hardly ever do TikTok messaging. I don't really. I just go on TikTok and put reels up, but that's about it. If you're interested in any of these items, let me know that hasn't sold. And um, guys, we've been on here going on almost two hours. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, Again, if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Thanks so much, guys. This was so much fun, particularly because, you know, a whole bunch of the oldies with goodies came in. Oh, guys, let me tell you, if you haven't watched my videos, please go watch my videos, please. My videos are short, like short. <laughs> I've been doing like um, three to five minute videos and some of them are like eight minutes. Now I've been told by YouTube, um, that you have to go over eight minutes, especially when you're monetized, which I am, but I am trying to get to 10,000. My son thought that 10,000 subscribers would get me the little play button. If y'all don't know the story, I actually created a play button for myself, like the little red and white one. And Nathan is, he wants me to get a play button because everybody's got a play button. So I'm like, no, sweetie, it's 100,000. So I didn't break his heart yet. He's like, no, mom, it's just 10,000 followers. You just need, I said, no. So, you know, <laughs> When I make 10,000, <laughs> I'm going to go create a play button <laughs> on a paper or whatever and put it up, you know, because it'll break his little heart. But um, 
let me know guys if you guys are interested in any of that but i'm trying to i'm trying to uh Yeah, I'm trying to um, get my views and stuff up. So share my stuff, okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys. I'm going to be posting another video soon. Please watch. Um, it's coming. I did film a couple of videos. I did not really like the way it came out. So I'm editing to see if I can make it a little, little funnier because I'm kind of, I like, I like to be jokey jokey. So anyways, look forward this weekend. I'm going to be trying to post more consistently um, on Fridays. So one should come out tomorrow and then uh, probably one at least either Fridays or Sundays. Once a week, look for a video between Friday and Sunday. Okay. If you get two videos, you're lucky. <laughs> but for the most part, based on my schedule right now and everything that's going on i can only do i can only commit to one video a week but i i do shorts and i do shorts pretty much every day i'm on instagram on a, please just follow me subscribe let me know you're there comment down in the comment section i need to know that you guys are watching and that you're enjoying my videos and my reels and my content okay and anyways I chat with y'all later. Please take care of yourself and each other. Thanks to all of you who purchased tonight. Big ups. Thanks for all of y'all who showed up and showed out. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.